Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, we're really near to Christmas now, so it's kind of tag making time. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a tag today, and I apologise it's not going to be Christmas tag because I just want to make a pink one. Um, but I just thought I would show you these. Here's my little Christmassy version. Look, it's got uh, Merry Christmas. I don't know how well you can see that on there. Um, but I've got some, just some regular cocktail ones that I've done, which could be for Christmas. I've done a little heartini. Isn't that cute for someone you really love? Um, this could be a good New Year card. It says, time to get toasty. And I'm using the blendabilities, as you can probably see from the, um, from those, uh, from the champagne in those glasses. Um, and this is my favourite, which is forget the cake and your candle is just in your cocktail. I really like that. We're going to do this one, but we're going to go all pink and I'm um, going to make that one today. So to make this, what I need is I'm going for, um, I'm actually going to use Blackberry Bliss for my um, the base of my tag. This is two inches by, I think I went for three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to pop that into the scallop uh, top tag punch. And that makes a perfect tag all the time. Love this tag punch. Um, so that's our tag shape. So the other two layers I'm using are, uh, this is a piece of melon mambo. And this is two and a quarter by one and three quarters. And a piece of whisper white at two inches by one and a half inches. So I'm going to stamp on the Whisper White and colour in. So I'll bring the camera a bit closer. For right, here we are. Um, the image we're using, we're from uh, Making Spirits Bright. And it's, where's my cake one? That one there, which is Forget the Cake. Um, that's the one we're going to use. So I'm going to stamp that in Memento Ink, which is what we use when we are colouring with blendabilities. Um, I'm just looking around the camera a little bit so that it's not the straightest. Let's turn that over and give that another go. That's a bit better. Okay. So on this one, I think I'm going to uh, colour my cocktail in the rich razzleberry. And I'm going to um, do my um, candle um, in the melon mambo. So let's do the cocktail first. I'm starting in the lightest colour of the rich razzleberry. And I'm using the, the, um, the smaller end on the blendabilities. Now I'm going for the darkest shade. Colouring in there, the medium, and then just blend over all of that with the light. Just get that to blend in. Then I'm going to take, I'm actually going to use still the, the smaller end here, and I'm just going to colour in alternate um, pieces on the candle that is in the melon mambo and I'm going to grab my um, daffodil delight blendies and do the candle get the darker one down at the bottom so we've got a little bit of gradient there now in that cocktail. I shall just move the camera back a little. So just to finish this off, couldn't be simpler, we're just going to um, glue the the image onto the melon mambo layer. We're going to pop this up on some dimensionals on the next layer. One, two, three, four. Just 
just lift that up. Oh, now I was going to stamp happy birthday when I've put dimensionals on now, so I'm going to make my life a little bit hard for myself. But I'm going to use the Melon Mambo. We'll give it a go. If it all goes wrong, I'll cover it up. Oh, a little bit close, I would say. But we'll get away with that. We've got the happy birthday on there. A bit close to the bottom of the glass. But it's more or less straight, so that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to take some uh, Cherry Cobbler Baker's Twine, which is the nearest I've got to a pink at the moment, and the Blackberry Bliss uh, ribbon. And just snip that off. And I'm just going to tie here with the Baker's Twine. And then the ribbon can be used to attach to a gift, or just you could attach it just by sticking it on and what I would suggest because the Blackberry Bliss is um, quite a dark colour um, unless you're going to write in like a silver pen or something like that on the back um, what I would do um, with this tag to finish it is to take a little Whisper White and my decorative label punch punch that shape out little bit of Tombow and put that on the back and that'll give you somewhere to write who the gift is to and from. Right there you go so that's today's project um, if you're still making Christmas tags um, maybe think of doing some cocktail ones this one particularly I think that's very fun for Christmas. Thank you for visiting Elizabeth's craft room today and I look forward to welcoming you back soon.